Now, after Hebrews 11 declares, now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen, then it starts calling out by name those witnesses that have gone before us, like a sports announcer announcing the starting lineup or calling out what might be called the Faith Hall of Fame. By faith Abel, by faith Enoch, by faith Abraham, by faith Sarah, by faith Isaac, by faith Jacob, by faith Joseph, by faith Moses, by faith, by faith Rahab. And as the writer runs out of breath, we hear, Time would fail to tell me of Gideon and Barak, Barak and Samson and Jephthah, of David and Samuel and the prophets. By faith. Wilmer, Minnesota is the coffee cup, uh, coffee drinking capital of the world, according to the movie The Wilmer Eight. More cups of coffee are consumed per person in Wilmer, Minnesota than any place in the United States. There's a church there called Vinji Lutheran. The name Vinji comes from the homeland back in the old country of Norway. It literally means prairie, but it has a great deeper meaning for the people that started that congregation. When the people of Vinji Lutheran built their new church building in 1963, they went modern, like really modern. It was a great step for them. And, and, and they worship in the round, much like we do here. When you enter the sanctuary for the first time, you see this circle all around, of beautiful carvings in wood and names, familiar names like Abraham and Sarah and Moses and Peter and Paul and Martin Luther. And then comes the surprise, a beautiful surprise. In his first with those names are the names of founders, of former members of the congregation, testimonials to the faith. Now, if we had a roll call of faith, if we had a sanctuary with the names of the people for whom grace was their family of faith and church home, whose names would you put up there surrounding us this day? And each one of us has a personal, personal list of those who have gone before us. Uh, whose names, whose names would you put up there encircling you on this day? Today we remember two who have gone before us, two witnesses of the faith, Bob Varner, and Levon Berkelo. Yet we know they are not alone. They are part of that cloud, that great cloud of witnesses that has gone before us. And that's how this roll call of faith in Hebrews ends. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight and every sin that clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. We are not alone, brothers and sisters in Christ. We follow a path that has been opened up, has been blazed by Jesus. We are on that trail on that journey that's been trod by generations who have gone before us. And so as we give thanks to God for them, let us lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely, and let us run the race that is set before us. For the day is surely coming when the saints will come marching in, and thousands upon thousands of that great cloud of witnesses will be waving their heavenly Homer hankies. And they will be cheering so loudly it will be like a jet plane taking off. And as we enter up into that stadium, that holy city, we will hear our baptized name called out. 
And there will be awarded to us the crown of righteousness. Until then, let us lay aside every weight and sin that clings so closely and march on in faith. Amen. The peace of God which passes us all understanding will keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Let us stand as we sing our hymn of the day for all the saints, verses 1 through 3 and 7. Remembrance of the saints. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. Let us pray. Almighty God, those who die in the Lord still live with you in joy and blessedness. We give you thanks for the grace you have bestowed upon your saints who have finished their life in faith and now rest from their labors. Amen. Lord God, we remember before you Siegel Bob Sigmund Varner, Jr., who was baptized June 21, 1925, and joined the Saints on August 20, 2015.
Lord God, on this day we remember Dorothy Lavon Podin Berkelow, who was baptized February 13, 1927, and joined the saints on September 15, 2015. united into one by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray with all God's saints for healing, wholeness, and peace in all the earth. God of glory, we ask your blessing for chaplains, deaconesses, and diaconal ministers. Grant them wisdom and compassion as they embody your grace in the forgotten places of this world. Lord, in your mercy. We seek your healing for oceans, streams, hot springs, and lakes. Clean the waterways damaged by human carelessness and provide all who thirst access to fresh water. Lord, in your mercy. We seek your protection and healing for veterans, civil rights leaders, and military personnel. Where there is pain, bring comfort. Where there is anger, bring mercy. Where there is war, bring peace. Lord, in your mercy. We seek your healing for all who struggle with addiction, mental illness, physical ailment, or spiritual distress. Refresh them with the water of life and fill them with your abundant love. Lord, in your mercy. We ask your healing for nurses, doctors, social workers, and emergency respondents. Sustain them to be vessels of your healing and comfort. Empower them to restore wholeness to the broken and hope to the despairing. Lord, in your mercy. We give you thanks for all the saints. Wipe away our tears of sorrow and mourning. And when we die, bring us to the church triumphant. Lord, in your mercy. Into your care, Alpha and Omega, we trust all for whom we pray. Be with us now and always, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. Let's stand and share signs of that peace with one another. us as we joyfully share our gifts with the Lord.
we join in the offering prayer. God of all creation, all you have made is good, and your love endures forever. You bring forth bread from the earth and fruit from the vine. Nourish us with these gifts, that we might be for the world signs of your gracious presence in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broken and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. We invite you to receive the Lord's forgiveness in the body and blood, the bread and wine of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you join that river of life as the great cloud of witnesses cheers us on. We invite all who believe in Jesus to come to the banquet. At grace, no one goes hungry, and there's room for more.
Please stand. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, we give you thanks that you have set before us this feast, the body and blood of your Son. By your Spirit, strengthen us to serve all in need and to give ourselves away as bread for the hungry. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Our sending song are the first two verses of hymn number 545.